Saturday. Oh, were you making it? Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm making a halo. Okay, so I had this great question from one of my clients the other day, and she said, what are those memes? It's like, do you even bro? You know, have you seen those memes? It's like, do you even bro? Okay, so anyways, that's what made me think of. And she was like, she was like, Kyleen, do you ever eat junk food? And I thought, what a perfect video. Because I'm sure I get a lot of questions about how I eat. And uh, people are constantly wanting to know, <laughs> do we ever splurge? Are we 100% purists? What do we do? So before we jump into the details, hi, Abigail. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Steve. That's Steve Harpster. Hi, Steve Harpster. So before ah. we jump into the details and answer this question, I want to share something I'm super excited about. Hi, Cheyenne. I am running a free informational webinar, Three Steps to Discover Your Nutrition, January 16th at 1 p.m. So please join me. It's going to be an opportunity for you to uh, get the three steps but also there will be a question and answer session at the end. And I'm going to be talking in detail about my signature program, Stop Dieting and Live Your Life, Discover Your Nutrition, which I'm launching February 11th. And I'm super pumped about it. I was going through some things right before we got on. I'm up leveling it. I'm making it so much better than even the beta program. And people loved that and saw really great results. So I'm excited to bring really, really good content to you. So should we answer the question? Do you even eat junk food, bro? I only <laughs> eat junk food when I'm not around you. Uh, no, wait, but that's true. Hi, no, Ashley. No, no, yes, it is. Because what you eat it around me too? No, I don't. Never, never. Um. So, okay. So let me answer this really succinctly. My personal answer is yes and no. So, um, I know my non-negotiables, which allows me to treat, don't cheat because I know my nutrition. So I use like all my keywords in there. Like but buzzword, bingo. Those are my, those are my words, is, is non-negotiables, treat, don't cheat, and nutrition. And so um, let me kind of explain that really quickly. So things that, I have two levels basically, and just let me throw it out there. Any diet, any plan you're on, anything, no matter what the rules are, there's always junk food available in, that follow those rules. There's paleo junk food, there's gluten-free junk food, there's normal junk food. So it doesn't really matter what you're doing, there's junk food available, right? Hi, Ashley. So um, w when you think about it that way, you have to know what your non-negotiables are. So for me, non-negotiable, I'm always gluten-free, and things I try to really avoid and like are not even in my spectrum of possibility when I'm thinking about snacking or bringing things into the house, are things that are made with a lot of fake ingredients, have a lot of food coloring and things that are known to stimulate appetite, um, cause hyperactivity and mood disorders, things that cause inflammation in your body, all those sorts of things. So that would be like M&Ms are things that are completely out. Like I'm not, I, I just never ever in any situation, social or grocery store or whatever, would be tempted to be like, ooh, I really want those M&Ms. Or if you were on a uh, stranded on a desert island. Okay. This That'll be next. Yes, yeah, this is um, <laughs> barring um, a, de a situation of eat this or die. Um, but no, no situation. So things like M and M's or regular pizza or um, like I'm trying to think. What are those like che cheese puffs, like Cheetos or whatever? Mm -hmm. Like those are all things that are like to me legit junk food. And when I look at those things, I'm like death, <laughs> inflammation, pain chronic disease, brain fog, blood sugar spikes, fake food, fake colors. Hard rules really help? Yes, absolutely. So, but let me let me kind of flip that. So do I, does that mean I never treat myself and never have, um, you know, yummy foods that still fall within what I consider junk food? No, right now we're about to go upstairs and make gluten-free um, cinnamon rolls that a friend of mine brought over full of sugar, horribly unhealthy for me, <laughs> but it is a treat and it's not something that I like bring into the house on a regular basis. So yes, the short answer is I do still eat junk food sometimes, but I have my limits because I know how my body works and I know what the food does and I know what to avoid 100% always. Patrick's a little bit different though. Go ahead. I'm older. <laughs> I'm a man. Yeah. No, uh, one of the things that uh, obviously at, at the office and stuff like that, sometimes people will give you candy and things like that. So occasionally 
what I find in myself when I cheat is usually when I'm ill prepared at work. So if I'm, if I'm spot on with my nutrition and I bring it and I've got snacks rotated in and all that stuff and I'm good to go. Um, when I'm not and I'm busy and I maybe skip lunch or whatever, that's usually where things start to get wobbly. And so I go to the vending machine and the healthiest thing I can find is Fritos. So here is here is that um, that balance, right? Of good, better, and best. Or actually I guess it would be bad, good, better, best. <laughs> So like bad, like really, like what's the what's the alternative choices to Fritos? Like, cause Fritos is is um, you know corn and oil, so it's not the worst thing in the world. It's certainly not the best thing. Yeah, it's probably better than a pack of Oreos. Right there, you right. go. Yeah. So that's an example. Yeah. So, but my problem is, is I'll have like four <laughs> bags of it, and that's not good. No. So that's that that's where that. that Hi, Joy. Starts to, that starts to hit me. Yeah. So so my my tips with that is to. Um, I know. It's not bad of you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so my tips is really know your non-negotiable. So what are those? And so that you can treat, don't cheat, because if you're um, cheating, you're breaking your non-negotiables. But if you're treating, you're still within that those guidelines, right? And that the re the way I know how to do that for my own life, and the way I teach my clients to know that is to discover your nutrition, which is what I'm going to talk about in the webinar January 16th. You're curious too, Joy. Yeah, you're gonna. We just talked about it, so it's a yes and no answer. Um, yes, I do eat junk food, but I have non-negotiable junk foods that will never cross my lips ever. And actually, I have a confession to make. And it's kind of funny oh. that I just said it was a confession because it happened in church. Um, so I've been so proud of the fact that Where's this going? that I've been five years gluten free. Nothing's passed my lips that I've ever been aware was gluten filled and to like three weeks ago or whatever, two weeks ago, it was Christmas Eve, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was it, yeah. it, was it Christmas Eve? Yeah, anyways, we were taking communion at church and they 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 have the option of gluten-free wafers, but I didn't ask for it. And I, I held the glutinous wafer in my hand. I was like, God will forgive me. <laughs> she, it's she, small. She, yeah. I have had so much healing. I was like, it'll be okay. She did yell vile satanic wafer and oh, ran out of the church. It was like I was possessed. I swallowed it and then I was like, you know, doing exorcism on my, <laughs> my way out. No, I'm just kidding. It was fine. But, you know, there's another thing too when you kind of navigate this long term. If you have a gluten sensitivity or whatever, you know, like, what supplements to take to combat any exposure to. So, I think I came home and took one or two of those. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, that is... Hi, Lisa. So, that is the short and I guess a little bit long answer to the question, do we eat junk food? And you kind of have to find what's right for you. So again, discover your nutrition. If you want to learn more about how to do that, I'm offering a free webinar on January 16th at 1 p.m. PM, PM, I don't know what N stands for, and I'm going to drop the link below. So make sure you sign up for that because also one thing I'm really excited about is I'm going to be offering like huge, huge bonuses in the webinar for anyone that is interested in signing up for my um, six week program that I'm launching, but you have to be there in the webinar to get those bonuses. And they're like bonuses. I can't talk today. Bonuses. And we just talked about the bonuses. Are they pretty awesome? They are pretty awesome. They're pretty exciting. Yep. So you're not just going to get information. You have the option to get super high value bonuses and you also have the option to go through a question and answer session with me. So whether you're interested in the program or not, just hop on and we can chat back and forth. So I hope to see you then. I will post the link below. So don't forget to register. Bye. We're going to go, um, we, you know, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon, here we come. Cinnamon rolls. Here we come. <laughs>